Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is your guy Taylor, special release Daisy here and I'm going to be reading you the next story of uh, this book. So uh, last time, for those who are just uh, tuning in, let's get the right page. We were story number 6 with our tree trouble. Now we're reading number 7 which is Tiny New Friend from the film Cinderella. Um, Cinderella is, I kind of I like it, alright, I kind of like the film. Um, it's having, um, um, I don't know what to say, um, let's just uh, read the story, shall we? Tiny new friend. It had been a week since Cinderella's stepmother had forced her to move out of her bedroom and into the attic of the old house. What? But still, Cinderella was not used to her new sleeping quarters. It was a cold, bare, lonely little room. The only other soul around to keep Cinderella company was a little, was a skittish little mouse who she had been scurrying in and out of a hole in the corner of, a, of the room. She had always been food. What the hell? Uh, she had always been fond of animals and mice to no recession. But how could she let the little fellow know that sh that he should be afraid of her? Well, poor Cinderella, he must be cold and hungry. So one day at supper time, Cinderella slipped a piece of cheese into her apron pocket. And that evening, when her work was finished, Cinderella hurried up to her room and pulled out her sewing basket. She used some scraps of fabric to so in there. She used some scraps of fabric to make a mouse-sized suit of clothing. A red shirt, a cap, a tiny orange coat, and two brown slippers. A tiny outfit for my tiny friend, she said. Cinderella carried the clothes over to the mouse hole and knelt before it. She pulled the cheese out of her pocket and placed it with the clothes in the palm of her hand. And then she laid her open hand uh, just in front of the mouse hole. Hello, right there, she called. A mouse caught a silly rubber with it, poked his head out of the hole and sniffed the air. Seeing the cheese, he edged, he edged out of the hole and never to, over to Cinderella's hand. He paused and looked up at her questioning. Go ahead, she said kindly. That way. Go ahead, she said kindly. I have a gift just for you. Seeming to understand, but still skittish, the mouse scampered onto her palm, picked up the cheese and the clothes, and hurried back into the mouse hole. Cinderella chuckled. They waited patiently for a few minutes, still kneeling in front of the hole. Well, she called after a short while. Let me see how they look on you. T Timidly, the mouse came out of his new outfit. Cinderella kept clapped her hands. Perfect, she said. Do you like them? The mouse nodded. Then he dropped as if as if an idea had just occurred to him. He scurried, he scurried back into the mouse hole. Cinderella frowned, and she frightened him. But her worries had vanished when the mouse appeared. He appeared, along with several other mice, who followed timidly behind him. More, f more friends. More friends, Cinderella cried. 
He hurried to get her sewing basket, delighted to have found the warmth of consciousness and called her back to him. Excuse me, Miller. This is kind of a it's kind of a weak story for me, guys. This story was kind of weak. Uh, all she says is, uh, "Cinderella is a fond of animals and did looks at a suit or a mouse." Oh god, I don't like this story much. Hopefully, um, next story will be, uh, better. Well, um, if you guys enjoyed this story, because, yeah, it didn't much. And if you did, make sure to leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel with JLS for Max. Uh, follow me on Facebook. Twitter, and... And and Instagram. So this is JLS right out and don't forget to do the sandwich. Uh, see you later. See you in a minute guys.